The next step is destabilization. Again, this word says for itself what it is. To destabilize all the relations, all the accepted institutions and organizations in the country of your enemy. How you do it? You don't have to send a, a battalion of KGB agents to blow up bridges. No. You let them do it themselves. The area of application is, again, it, it's, it's narrower now. Not like the, the previous case. The overt legitimate actions of the, of the KGB in this case would be ha hardly noticeable. There is no crime if a professor who recently went to USSR introduces a course of Marxism-Leninism in, in a, a, a Californian college, for example. Nobody is going to, to come to his doorstep and say, okay, mister, come, you are under arrest. No, it's not a crime. It's not even considered a moral crime against your country. So the area of application here is narrowing down to ec economy, again, labor relations, right? To law and order. plus military, and uh, economy, law and order. Yes, and again, the uh, media, but uh, wider scope, a little bit different. I I'll explain later. OK, basically, three areas. Economy, the radicalization of bar bargaining process. If on that stage, we still could achieve, theoretically, some positive compromise between the negotiating sides with, with uh, say, uh, the ar ar arbitrary, in introduction of arbitrary judges, uh, third side, uh, objectively judging the, the demands of both sides. Here, it's radicalization. On, this, on the stage of destabilization, we cannot come to compromise even within a family. The husband and wife couldn't figure out which is better. Husband wants his kids to eat at the table, and wife wants him, a child, to roam around the room and, and drop food all over the floor. They cannot come to compromise unless they start a fight. It's impossible to reach a compromise, constructive compromise, between neighbors. Some people say, I don't like you to work during your loan at that time, because exactly at that time I'm walking my dog and he's getting nervous. He cannot uh, pass his bowels, you know. So they cannot compromise. They go to a, a, a civil court or something like that. Radicalization of human relations. No more compromise. Fight, fight, fight. The normal, traditionally accepted relations are destabilized. The relations between teachers and students in schools and colleges. Fight. The, the relations between, in the economical sphere, between uh, laborers and, and employers are further uh, radicalized. No more acceptance of the legitimacy of demands of workers. Unlike Japanese, with the theory Z, if you, if you ever heard about it, where the workers are involved in decision-making process, therefore they don't have uh, moral incentive to, to fight their, uh, their bosses. In the United States, it's just the opposite. The harder is the, the fight, the better. The more heroic they look. When the Greyhound uh, network was on strike recently, the correspondents of local TV networks uh, all over the United States were approaching these strikers, and they say, oh, yes, we are doing something nice. They look like heroes, and they were proud. There was some family. Uh, the husband was a uh, bus driver. Now they decided in, 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 in the protest against the uh, uh, bosses to camp somewhere in the forest. And they were presented to the, to the audience as, as a heroic, nice people. You see? The violent clashes between passengers, picketers, and, and the strikers are presented as something normal. 10, 15, 20 years ago, we would, we would be... Uh, we would be angry, say, why, why, why so much hatred? Today we are not. We say, well, it's commonplace. Radicalization, militarization sometimes. As I explained uh, uh, on that stage, I, I took a step a little bit further. Shooting people. Okay, 
Law and order now also is uh, pushed into the area where previously people settled their differences uh, peacefully and legitimately. Now we are getting with this uh, uh, court cases in the, in the smallest irrelevant cases. We cannot solve our problems anymore. The society at large becomes more and more antagonistic between individuals, between groups of individuals and the society at large. The media puts himself in the opposition to the society in general, at large, separate, alienated. Okay? On that stage, you remember I was talking uh, a couple of hours ago about the sleepers. That's when the students from, say, United States, if they are trained in, in Lumumba University, or developing nations, that's the students I was dealing with, are being sent back from the Soviet Union here. Or if they were already in the United States, in the country, which is the object of, of subversion, they spring to action. The sleepers go up. They slept for 15 to 20 years. Now they become leaders of groups, preachers, uh, I don't know, public, public figures. Prominently they act. In, they actively include themselves in a political process. All of a sudden we see a homosexual. Fifteen years ago he did his dirty job and nobody cared. Now he makes it a political issue. It's a, a political issue. He demands recognition, respect, human rights, and he rallies a ra large group of people. And there are violent clashes between him and police, his group and, and ordinary people, no matter what. It's black against white, yellows against green, doesn't matter where the division line goes. As long as this group come into antagonistic clash, sometimes militantly, sometimes with firearms, that is destabilization process. The sleepers, many of whom are simply KGB agents, become leaders of the process of destabilization. Doesn't mean that Comrade Andropov sends Comrade Ivanov to the United States. The person who takes care is already here. He is a respected citizen of the United States. Sometimes he, he gets money from various foundations for, for his legitimate uh, struggle for, I don't know, human rights, women rights, kid lib, prison lib, whatever. There are sympathetic Americans who donate their money to him. This stabilization process usually leads directly to the process of crisis.